Oh, hi. Uh, my name is uh, Leslie Nelson, uh, elder in residence of uh, Carnegie. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge that we're here on Musqueam, Squamish, and Slavotooth territory that they let us work, play, and do as we doing right now, uh, work and play. Uh, I'm a Kwakwakwakwa, Guskumu, Duhal. I forgot to say, Ugwa'am. My name is Leslie Nelson. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, uh, soft smudge, uh, virtual smudge, right now. But before I do that, you know, we in Carnegie here, we've been going through a lot of uh, changes and haven't been on for a while. And if you look real close, you know, I got a couple more uh, gray hair, so and that's what worried about people. So, uh, yeah, there's been a lot of changes uh, with this Carnegie, and hopefully that uh, everything will look up and be as good as it was back then, or even better. So I'd uh, like to do, uh, show you uh, soft spots, uh, virtual spots, so if you can uh, have a smudge. Feather if you can. Don't usually use it much, but um, you just use enough for yourself when you're um, smudging. Yes, uh, I'm just going to quickly do the four uh, welcoming of calling the uh, spirits or uh, helpers. Just south, thank you. West, thank you. North, thank you. So, and if you have any kind of jewelry, you take off and you smudge. And if you don't want to take it off, you just smudge. And uh, usually ladies use their hair, they smudge their hair. So smudging is uh, just like you're taking a bath, you know, you just um, throw over, throw the sweat over yourself. And you're just throwing, uh, pushing all that bad energy that you may have picked up on wherever you have gone. It's enlightening your heart. Your hand. smudge yourself you go around four times and you're doing your back and at each time you're doing 
or praying. Sometimes it does go on on you. with their little boat. I think it was a trolley, troller. Um, so they, they decided, they said, if we don't, we might lose our son. So they had to take that chance on that windy, windy, stormy day. And I guess his uh, mother heard about it she went to confront them and talk to them and ask them if that uh, if they could take their daughter because her daughter was uh, sick too. And they just looked at her and told her that they said that uh, we could only look after our son on that boat. Uh, the boat is not big. We can't look after two people. So the mother had to go and make sure that she holds on to their daughter. So they all left on the boat and they had to 
the rough ocean or sea. And they were just like, the boat was just rocking and up and down. And it's like an hour and a half on that, on that uh, path before they had calm water. So it was getting rougher and rougher and uh, water was getting into the boat and the boat was getting to be like sinking. The wife told her husband, you gotta go out there and bail us out. You gotta bail the water out of the boat. But her husband looked at his wife with fear in his eye that uh, he couldn't do it. So the wife said, here, take the steering wheel. He took the steering wheel and she tied herself up around and secured herself on a rope. She grabbed the bail, pail, and she went out. She went out there and uh, she just uh, bailed and bailed all that water as fast as she could because they were going to sink if they didn't get that water out. And she was thinking about the family that were in a I guess you call it bow or the bottom down below. And they, they, they only had like 15, 20 minutes before they had calm water. But they still had to bail, bail, bail. You know, uh, that was the rough times of um, when you had to, there was no ambulance there, no nothing. And they were determined to get their sick son to the hospital, and Bala Bala was the closest. So after they traveled an hour and a half through that rough water and windy storm there, um, they hit the calm water. And it, everything, everything else was calm, all relaxed. And they drove, uh, rode into uh, Bala Bala, that is, um, as far as I got with that story, uh, it's just telling how rough it can be back in that time, era with no ambulance, no phone, you know, you have to be on your own to get your sick ones to the hospital and traveling. And people, uh, you know, a lot of people were drowning on that, that area because of the rough seas. They're trying to go to a different town and their boat capsized, they drown, they go fishing. So the, I guess you could say the government found them a different location. So they split them into three different reserves. If I'm right on that. But I know two, but they moved them uh, to uh, a place called, now called Port Hardy. And I just, from the story that I read, Gaelic Islam, um, thank you for those people that, uh, the story, if I'm wrong, please correct me, forgive me, Gaelic Islam. And I want you to uh, make sure that you come Monday night at the giveaway uh, for cultural sharing, for free masks and free uh, gift and medicine if you want to pick up medicine. and. I think that's, uh, yeah, Monday 6 to 8, Monday night at the, pa I think at the patio. See you on Monday, and um, Gaelic Asla, Amen.